The complement law is another one that makes absolute sense when you see it and is a classic in an exam question for removing terms and simplifying terms drastically. This law basically says that if we've got A and not A, that this tends to negate itself and become a consistent zero output. Whereas if we have an A or a not A, then it comes out to be consistently a one output. That makes our lives very easy if we spot one of these when we're simplifying big expressions. Let's take a look at the truth tables and circuit diagrams and you'll see why these rules are so nifty. Starting with the AND gate expressions, you'll see that what's happening when we use a NOT on one of the inputs, it's basically always given us a 0 and a 1, no matter what we set the values to, as the NOT gate is the opposite of the other value. Now, in an AND gate, and an AND gate requires both inputs to be 1 to give us a 1 output, this will never ever happen in this scenario. So both A being 0 and A being 1 result in a 0 output. Let's just whip that expression out then and replace it with a 0. The OR gate has the same thing with the inputs. We're always getting a 0 and a 1 because of the nature of the inputs. Now, in an OR gate, which again uh, gives a 1 output as long as at least one of the inputs is a 1, well, one of the inputs will always be a 1. So we're going to get a consistent 1 output. Let's replace that entire expression with a 1 and save us the effort. Let's see it work in action. And our first expression on the surface looks quite complex. But let's start by seeing which terms are joined as 1 by an AND and which are grouped by the OR. When we look at the ANDs uh, and the standalone terms, we can straight away see where we can apply the complement law. B AND not B simplifies to a 0. So the expression becomes A or 0 or C or D. But Hold on a second, that rings a bell. Isn't anything or zero part of the identity law? It is! That means that we can now apply the identity law to the expression, and that says that if we have an or zero, we can simply remove it from the expression altogether. So wow, we've applied two rules in succession here and really simplified the expression to A or C or D. Now that's exactly what you'll need to do in the exam. You'll need to keep applying rules so that you can apply other rules and get it down to its most simple form. Let's try another. A or B or not C and D and C. We'll start by identifying the terms linked by AND into separate expressions and there we go. That right hand side expression definitely lends itself to the complement law. And when we apply it to not C and D and C, what's going to happen is that the not C and C parts will become a zero. But that's still attached to the D with AND. Now again, we've got an opportunity to apply another law here. The zero and D expression can be simplified with the annulment law, and we'll completely lose the D. But wait, there's more. Now we've got that mega expression down to just three terms linked with ORs, but the final term is a zero. So we should apply the identity law, which would rid us completely of the or zero part. We're done, and our final expression is absolute perfection. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to get more computer science content.